coming Tuesday, the last of the current generation of weather satellites is set to launch from Cape Canaveral. Dubbed GOES-U, the satellite will join the others in orbit with a piece of Rochester with it. Meteorologist Liam Healy can tell us exactly what key piece of equipment is going along for the ride. Liam. Hey there, Teresa. Yeah, that piece of equipment comes via L3 Harris, who has provided the main instrument known as the Advanced Baseline Imager for each of the GO satellites that have been launched in the past decade or so. While the EBI wasn't built into Flower City, it did spend some time here going through some extreme testing to make sure it was ready for what it would face when the time came for launch, according to Chris Reith, who has headed L3 Harris's work on the satellite. We just delivered the uh, GOES U spacecraft down to Cape Canaveral a little more than a couple months ago. Before then, we had to install the instrument onto the spacecraft, and then that's where it comes back to us and where we did our own environmental testing in our Rochester, New York facility. For this particular iteration, work has been ongoing since 2017. In that time, they've also gone through that same process of building, testing, and installing for two other satellites in the series. We've had the GOES-T launch that happened in 2022. We had the GOES-S launch, which happened in 2018. The instrument here in question, too, is what makes this satellite a weather satellite, keeping an eye on the sky, monitoring things 24 hours a day from up in the heavens. It's a really easy way to put it is it's a really uh, exquisite camera. It, it looks at the Earth in 16 channels or 16 different colors. Uh, there are two visible channels, a red and, and uh, uh, blue, and then it actually uh, looks in the infrared spectrum as well. A team is down there now making sure the instrument is set to go with the launch schedule for Tuesday, June 25th. Of course, weather permitting, even then, it will be some time before the satellite is fully up and running. It, it actually takes several weeks to get to the geostationary orbit, so uh, 22,300 miles is a long way to go. So uh, it'll be up there three weeks, and then it'll do a door opening, uh, which will be probably sometime in August. We'll go through the on-orbit test of the, of the instrument, and uh, we'll probably be looking at a uh, handover sometime in 2025. Once this satellite is fully operational, too, it will replace what we currently call GOES East, which is the satellite that's focused right over us here in Rochester. The old one will be placed back in storage as a backup, so even if the worst happens, we'll still be covered. Adam, Teresa, back to you.